I'm channeling that someone, something is pulling you out of hiding or calling you out of hiding. I think it's been necessary, Pisces. A lot of energy has been going out, and I don't think Pisces were getting that return. And you took a step back. And for many of you, it was a step back in love. You did retreat. Maybe you went away to a retreat. You actually left the home or the city or you went somewhere. For others of you, you retreated inward. You may not have been answering phone calls or texts or at least not with the frequency you normally would. Something's going to call you out of that now or pull you out of that now. It feels very positive as long as it is open communication. It feels like you needed the retreat, you needed the space, but that you don't want space anymore. You're ready to make a decision. Do I move forward? Do, do I come back home? Do I stay put in this relationship? It feels like in many of you, there's a very peaceful resolution, but you need to be open to, to very open and honest communication. And I think that you are Pisces, but is your partner. I think that's the only obstacle I'm feeling right now is that your partner may want to pull you out of hiding, but can they do the work to keep you out there, to keep you back home, to keep your interest? Because Pisces doesn't feel interested in partners or friends or families or interactions with people that are one-sided anymore. And that's actually very positive for you, Pisces, okay? Let's get a little bit more clarity on this. Pisces in love, July 15th through the end of the month. Pisces in love, two cards of one and two Okay, Pisces, your cards are sticking a little bit. And a lot of times when that happens... Maybe you're not ready to talk yet. Maybe someone wants to communicate. Are you afraid of what the resolution will be? What steps you might have to take? Don't be afraid of the conversations. They don't feel, they don't feel aggressive at all. I'm honestly feeling like, wow, okay. I'm feeling like uh, prayers have been answered. I, I also feel like you've been heard. So whether you've been speaking to universe or whether you had been asking a partner for some sort of change or to understand your point of view and maybe they honestly just couldn't meet you there, but the space forced them into some sort of clarity. You're going to be pleasantly surprised if you entertain these conversations. This is going down real soon. Do expect this around the 15th. Okay, I would be surprised if it takes until the end of this month to to pull Pisces out of hiding. These conversations need to happen soon. Center the reading. Our deep romantic feelings, Pisces, if you are afraid of a breakup and these conversations leading to it, I'm telling you, for the majority of you, this is a happy and healthy resolution because you have finally been heard. You've finally been heard and your partner finally gets it. They can't take and take and take and give a little bit back. If they want you to be as giving and as generous and as kind and as loving as you've been from day one, they have to give back 100%. They have to meet you where you're at. Many of your partners are leveling up, okay? So there's a very happy resolution for many of you. All right, Pisces, I know how much you love this. This is who this person is. Don't hide from them, from them anymore. It's good that you did what you did, but come out. Come back home, okay? Come back home. Come back home to your soulmate. If you let this linger too long, some serious distance may manifest here. I don't think you want any more distance. I think you just needed to be hurt. Pisces, your needs weren't being met. But see this partner? See, there's some serious love here. This is a high-level soulmate. This is this what comes through with this card. This is a high-level soulmate, okay? This is somebody who can and will work at it with you. They honestly just didn't have the clarity before. You stepping out, I think, is pretty terrifying. Even if you didn't leave the home and you guys continued to be around each other and see each other, you retreated within. They weren't getting that energy. They weren't getting that conversation. And your partner was like, oh, my God, did I already lose Pisces? Is this it? I don't feel like this is it. Pisces. I think that you guys come back together with more strength than you had going into July. Wow, you're getting two soulmate cards here. This is why, look, very soon clarify my past life relationship. We have two soulmate cards, soulmate then soulmate that pot. Pisces, this person's legit for you. If you're single, do you see who you're calling in? Do you see? Keep an open heart and an open mind. You may have retreated from love. 
It may not have just been from one person, Pisces. Did you retreat from love altogether because people were draining because you weren't getting the kind of love that you were giving? Someone's ready to show up and give you that. Someone just gets it. Someone gets you. There's someone, it feels like, especially for those of you in long-term relationships, it feels like you just feel understood. They understand you in a way no one else has ever really been able to understand and get you. There's a lot of depth here. I'm getting some Scorpio energy come through for sure for you Pisces. Um, your, your soulmate, this person, those soul ties you guys have, this is deep. This is deep love. Sorry, Pisces, a little kitty interruption. He's been doing that all day. Okay. For some of you, you're dealing with karmic issues from an ex. You may still even have romantic feelings for an ex. Okay, center of your reading. Feels like it's time to clear this. If you are not getting the kind of input that you need, the kind of love back, okay, for some of you, you've already cut these ties. This doesn't feel like separations throughout the rest of July. Something's lingering. Let Mercury retrograde, put a spotlight on it, let the eclipses eclipse this energy all the way out. It does feel like an X or an experience with an X is preventing you from opening up and being vulnerable and having feelings for somebody new. Okay, if you're in committed relationships, it's not so much about X energy, it's about old energy, old karmas, um, old situations that you guys went through. Releasing it. If your partner has had this aha moment and can show up, loving you the right way, giving you space when you need it, understanding who you are with so much depth, that shows so much love and so much growth. Don't retreat back to those old conversations. If your partner, this beautiful soulmate, has had the courage to change and heal and open their eyes to what you need, that means that they've recognized that they were lacking. That It takes a lot. It takes a lot of courage and a lot of strength to recognize that we haven't leveled up or that we've done something wrong. So if your partner can do that for you now, do not dip back into those old conversations. Don't punish them. Don't punish them anymore. And I don't think you were punishing anybody, Pisces, but they felt a little punished when you took your energy away and you needed to. I think that you needed to. You did exactly the right thing. Just don't go back into that space, okay? Don't dip into those old conversations. If your partner is really meeting you, where you need them to meet you, honor that and celebrate that and move forward. But there's definitely releasing of exes, some old energies, some old karmas. Don't be surprised, too, if someone from the past shows up during the retrograde, okay? Just if you're in a committed relationship, don't. Don't. It's going to mess up the energy, okay, of this beautiful person, the energy you have with them, don't even entertain that, okay? Soulmate is being clarified by retreats. If you still feel like you need to retreat over the next couple of weeks, you need to do it with your soulmate. If you're in a committed relationship, it's not gonna do you guys any good for you to retreat again. You gotta come home from the retreat to the soulmate. If you still need some healing, and you guys both need some healing, you go on that retreat together, okay? You do it side by side. No more cutting this person off. You did the right thing though, but that's done. That needs to be done. Your soulmate needs you, and they're really, it really feels like this person's getting you. They really, really, really want to own up to whatever was wrong and really show up for you, Pisces. You deserve having that beautiful experience. For others of you, you call in this beautiful person, this beautiful new soulmate, such a high-level soulmate, because you had the courage to retreat from, from old relationships, from old karmas, from exes. You may need a retreat from this, especially if someone's being kind of aggressive from the past. But on the heels of a retreat, it feels like a soulmate comes in if you're single, a reconnection with the soulmate if you're not single, if you're already committed to somebody. Just don't dip back into that. I'm also telling you this, for those of you who've been single for some time and you have fears and still some pain and some grief or some anger, any negative attachments in the past because of an ex, work on that over the next couple of weeks. It's time to not be in this permanent retreat mode with walls up and guards so that you can't ever get hurt again. 
it's time for you to feel all that you can feel. Pisces, you're always searching for soulmates. I am a Pisces moon. I get it. How easily do we connect to soulmates in this lifetime, right? We're like magnets for soulmates. Not all of them are meant to stay. But Pisces, I'm telling you, this person feels like they're meant to stay, okay? Work at it if they are already in your life. Move forward and heal. These next two weeks are going to help you do that. But don't stay stuck in hiding. Come out. Come out into the light. Come out into love. Give yourself the opportunity to have these beautiful new experiences in love with your current partner or with a brand new person at this time. Yeah, the cards are still a little... Ooh, all right. I was going to say they're sticking and then this flew out. I get it. I get it. I get why these cards are sticking. Don't worry about the outcome. The message for you, don't worry about the outcome so much. Focus on the present moment. Don't worry. I think some of you, and, and trust me, I, I do this too. I have to remind myself of this. Stay grounded in present moment because if you're constantly worried about the future, well, what if I fall in love? And what if I'm vulnerable? And what if this doesn't work out? And then I have to feel all this heartbreak all over again. You're, you're going to miss what's right in front of you. Don't miss what's right in front of you right now. There's somebody really good here. There's somebody good already in your life. Somebody trying to come in who's like a legit partner. Don't worry about the future. Don't try to control this. Don't. I, I'm not even really getting control. I'm getting worried from this card, okay? Present moment awareness. Really focusing on that this month, the rest of this month, okay? Bottom of the deck. Staying optimistic. Look what's coming through for you. High-level commitments. This is a recommitment. This is deeper bonding, okay, with current partners. They get you. You've been heard, Pisces. How good? How good does it feel to finally hear that, to finally know that you have a partner who's ready to level up, and they apologize. They didn't realize that you were putting in more work than them. You took that space to open their eyes. This person loves you. As long as their actions and their words are in alignment, okay, and you're being shown that love and the understanding, you move forward with this person with an open heart. If you are single, you are calling in, or you have the potential to call in partners that will show up with some serious longevity here. This is not a fleeting soulmate, okay? Open hearts this month. Come out of hiding, Pisces. It's time. You are going to feel good once you realize that your courage to take that space actually did what it was supposed to do. It healed you. It healed your partner. Hearts are healed. There's more understanding. Now go enjoy that. That must have been pretty hard for you too to have to separate from a partner, to have some sort of space that is not easy to do. So congratulations, you're getting what you want now. Good job, Pisces. You earned this. I am so proud of Pisces for the self-love that you all have been exercising and prioritizing, okay? You've earned this high-level love. Go enjoy it. Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here.